Hey, how's it going? It's Eddie, and we uh, got receiver here again. Um, two reasons. I, I I already did this once, and then I got rid of it because I did it a couple days ago, and now there's uh, an update. So there's two reasons we're do I'm doing this. Well, three really. One is that it's uh, just an amazing game. Two uh, is that there's been major updates. We're gonna see them as they. I'm gonna play for a long time, so as they come up I will uh, talk about what they are um, but uh, obviously if you want more in detail and fuller descriptions you're gonna have to go check out the website about the game but um, another thing is that it's now up first oh, I forgot to look up the name uh, steam I think it's I think it's a green light is what it's called steam green light and what that basically means is that uh, if you vote it up enough it'll get added to steam the updates will come out quicker uh, you know it'll it's it's um, gonna be a lot easier for people to manage all the files and um, so I, I was really pushing it when I last checked when I thumbs up there was only two percent of the way that needed to be done I wanted that number to be at like 99.9999999100 basically basically at 100 percent what I wanted it to be it so um, uh, I thought I could promote it a little bit to try to get it there and so that's why we're here that was the reason why I did it a couple of days ago but then when the updates came I was like well I might as well just do it again and show off the updates and as you can possibly see if you know the game uh, if you don't, maybe go back and watch an older video of mine that w of in it. Uh, but uh, or I could just tell you briefly that uh, you are well. You're probably going to gist the storyline, but the goal is to get. If you look in the top right, if you can read it, zero tapes absorbed of eleven. Um, the goal is to get all eleven tapes, um, and when we find them, uh, you will learn more about what those tapes are. Um, but, uh, if you knew the game, then you knew that this might be, is what I'm holding here is new. Uh, this is the gun, and it is a Glock or something like that, I don't know, I don't know guns. And, uh, this gun has a particular feature, it's, I'm gonna see if I can get to a well-lit place. Um, yeah, that's pretty good when the red light's on. The little knob on the back is switching back and forth, and that is, uh, Full auto, semi auto. So we'll keep on semi auto for now. Um, oh, this is a great, well lit place. There, little knob right there. Um, also, before I go on, there's music outside, screaming outside. I'm in a college campus. It's happens a lot. So, uh, yeah, if I, if any s particular song comes through, that's either extremely well known or easy to hear might have to cut some things out because I really don't want that copyright strike oh okay so got a turret here oh okay so if you don't know the game I will give you a little bit uh, of history about it yeah, it was made in a week um, for a contest by Wolfire Games. It was made by Wolfire Games. Um, the contest, I don't know who the contest was by. But it was made, uh, it was a first person shooting contest, and it, the game was made in a week. It's called Receiver, and it is a very unique game. Why? I'll show you. Uh, the text you see on the right side of the screen now is basically the controls that are up all the time now if you look at them some of them seem normal like look move jump uh, pick up nearby fire weapon aim weapon all those fairly standard but now you've got holster weapon okay yeah pull back slide so that's one simple operation on the weapon that is controlled by a single button release slide if it's locked back it's not this we can't do it uh, toggle yeah yeah and eject the magazine then you've got holster the weapon and then you can do, uh, well, if we find that one that I just ejected, there we go. Uh, insert the bullet. So that's how you reload, and sometimes you do more than a magazine. And there are three weapons, which hopefully we'll see all of. And, uh, ooh. Okay. Well, on again, maybe we'll get a new weapon. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, that's it.
there's two enemies. It's one of the two. Oh, we got the same one. That's um, okay. So, oh boy, I think there's only one bullet. Unless there's some in the immediate area on the ground that we can pick up. Uh, the room. Yes, there are. Ah, and another new addition is the flashlight. You hold it as if your if as if your left hand is holding the flashlight, and then your right hand is resting on top of your left hand, um, while your right hand holds the gun. And we've got a tape. I'll get that in a second. Um, and then when you're walking with it, when you're not aiming, it's just like you're holding it with your left hand. Kind of like you're throwing a javelin or something like that, like an overhand throw kind of deal. And then you got, uh, with the, um, magazine out, it's in your teeth. So that's your different ones. Now let's listen to the tape. Maybe you get a bit of an idea of the storyline. You see reality painted in shades of black, but beyond your world is another, bathed in radiant light. We have reached out to you with a warning. If you are able to hear our message, you are one of the few that we can help. We call you receivers. The receiver you hear speaking these words was chosen because he is able to hear us with exceptional clarity. With time, you too could learn this mind to tech. But time is not something we have. There is a threat to everyone on your planet, and they have been weakening your mind through your media, lowering your natural defenses. The coming attack is unavoidable. All we can do is prepare. Okay, that was one of the better ones. Some of them are just static. Some of them say other things. That kind of gives you an idea. kind of doesn't. It, it leaves out some parts because there's 11 of them, and they're played at random, so there's no... Whoops, there's no beginning tape, per se, that's gonna help you out, um, to bat, or, you know, to get you started, so it's very vague like that, and I'm not even sure I understand it completely myself, so, but, um, whoop. as far as the gameplay goes, it's pretty clear, it's, uh, so that sound means that an enemy has seen you, so this sound, that sound right there, the kind of lower, the, that one, uh, that one, I hope the audio syncs up now, that means that the enemy has lost sight of you, uh, now, one of the other, uh, I keep doing that, one of the, oh, other things about this game, game that's extremely interesting, okay, I'm gonna stick right here with this guy for a second, um, is the sprinting. Um, so you just have to repeatedly tap sprint to sprint, um, which in my opinion is an interesting idea for this style of game, as the developers explain it in some of their videos, uh, that um, it's because like it's kind of stressful, you know, when you have because in this, you know, if, if you get hit once, you're done. Um, it only takes one to uh, to kill you, so um, if you repeatedly press it, it kind of uh, displays the urgency of the situation, and then, uh, you know, obviously you're not going to just want run around like this your entire time, because then you would just be repeatedly pushing the button down, it would be kind of tiring for your finger, as it would be tiring for the character. Now, also, uh, the other interesting thing about this is the fact that if you don't, there is this, you can keep this text up where all the lit up text is something that you should do uh, in order to make you more ready for combat. So if, you know, like things spotted this, it's going to say, right now it's highlighting the insert magazine button. And I have it memorized because I've been playing for a while. But if you don't have it memorized, then you need to look at it, and it might take you longer to do these things. So that's really interesting, in my opinion, because it's kind of like new with the game, new with the system. Maybe you are, you know, it's kind of like you're playing someone who isn't yet good at using a firearm, as I am not in real life, because I never have. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that was interesting. But then let's talk about this here. 
this here is one of the enemies, as I said, and the enemies in this game have like a weak points that you can use, and other than that, you uh, they don't like if you repeatedly shot right down here, it wouldn't do anything, I don't think. Um, even if you did like a million, million uh, bullets, but. The weak points, I believe, are the base here, which is the motor for it spinning, which is what I shot, so that does this effect to him. Then you can also take out the camera here, and then it'll just keep spinning and it'll never look at you. It'll, you can walk right up in front of it, it'll never see you. And then I, there's somewhere back here, I think it's probably the orange box that you use to take out the uh, gun. And then it'll look at you, but it, it won't shoot. Um, ooh. Oh, this is the second kind of enemy. <sighs> Those, these guys are really hard. But he was right on cue. Let's, let's put, oh no, oh no. Take that out, oh, all empty. Great. Um, I wish I could put away this flashlight. Maybe if I do that, no, that makes it worse. Maybe if I do this. I, I don't know, but anyways, uh, the, the blades are one part, and then the two darker reds, like like maroon-ish, very dark, uh, maybe even brownish, I don't know what it'll be like in the video, are the other two spots, so one of them's the back is like the rudder for steering, uh, that can throw it off, and then the front part's the zapper that gets you, which is actually kind of funny, I haven't looked at it this closely before, I just, oh never mind. But yeah, that, if you hit that uh, in the front, then that'll disable it, and they'll just kind of buzz around and not be able to hit you, I believe. But um, the lighter red, the paler red, there uh, are like guards, and if you hit that, it's just going to bounce off. So as you can imagine, that's why they're pretty hard, because if you're level with them, it's hard to see. Like, you know, if we go back here and we're level, uh, let's get this back out right like this it's hard to hit the blade uh, without hitting that part um, so it's best to be either be directly below them but that's where the camera points so that's uh, bad too eh. no so the really the best part is to be above them oh I don't have any ammo this is not going well Alright, so for the rest, we're gonna be pretty fast. Oh, got me. The rest is gonna be pretty fast paced, because uh, I won't be stopping to talk about anything. Uh, again? Wow, it's incredible. Let's. Oh no. Let's get that. Load in everything onto the one. Okay, we're ready to, f ready to go. Ready for action. Ah! I don't know where that came from. Oh, uh, other thing to talk about, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but the rooms <coughs> are procedurally generated, meaning there's a certain kind of, I guess you could say, preset rooms, or... Um, nice, okay like predetermined rooms that are pre-made and then they're they kind of match some up some receivers oh. believe the message but are unable to hear the source themselves we have developed a mind tech called clear tape to aid in your receiving your subconscious mind has been eroded by dangerous addictive media to wean you from this addiction we will trick your mind using its conditioned response to your advantage by providing the correct external cues, clear tape provides a way to reduce the symptoms of media damage. You will have been issued a clear tape. Put the tape into your tape deck and press play. At first, it is normal to hear only background static. After several sessions, you may hear a voice. Okay, there's another one. Um, but, so as I was saying, they're, they kind of all match up with each other. So for instance, um, this room here, you've got the bottom floor, you've got the top floor with these catwalks, and then 
if you look out there, you can see some stairs going up, so there's a floor above this, but, and they all kind of match up, so you can have doors on the side on all three levels, on either side on all three levels, or in the middle on all three levels, and various doors match up. Some of them just lead to the next, a wall of the next adjacent room. So for instance, right here, there's a door there, right? But it doesn't really make, so if this room had been different, or if this room had been rotated around, um, then like this walkway that I'm on right now would match up with the door, as it does right here. And then you can walk right through. So you can't walk through because there's no walkway there, and if you jump, you're going to just fall and, and die. So um, very interesting. Uh, so you're just going to keep going in either direction, just continuously generating rooms with enemies in them and tapes scattered around. Oh, and as... Nice, okay. As you... Oh, God. These guys are the worst. He's bugged out. I think I got him. Yeah. Um, so as... Did I get a tape there? No, okay. So as you can tell, it's, uh, it's like slow in the sense that you're not just running and, and gunning and spraying and everything like that. Really have to be precise. Really have to make sure you have an exit plan, no matter what. But it's also very fast because uh, you know you get caught. You have to move. Um, there's no getting pinned down, waiting for anything to regen. You're hit. You're done. You try again. You keep going. There's no save points. There's nothing. Every every. It's just complete restart. So here's what the roof of that other uh, place looks like. Um. <coughs> oh no! Oh. Got him. So, uh, as you can see, we had two of the same roofs in a row. Oh no! Oh, I thought I was gonna fall down the little crack in the middle. Two of the same roofs in a row. Going with the little hole in between them. And, uh, you know, that's just more the randomness of the. Wait, it's three actually. Imagine that. All right. So now we have a new one here, kind of similar to the one we saw a little while ago with the zig that kind of zigzag stairs. But let's just keep going. I, I actually like this setup right here. Ooh, man. Oh well. Uh, we'll go again. Let's see what we get this time. Ah, yes, the good old-fashioned one before um, oh another thing I forgot to mention is that there's now a setting for the distance your eyes to the gun I keep it all the way zoomed in makes it much easier to aim that didn't even occur to me as an addition but um, apparently someone wrote about it in a review for the game or something and that that's why it was added and uh, that I think it's brilliant uh, I think that is definitely needed and it didn't even occur to me that it was needed but now I just play so much better like sure it takes up a bigger portion of the screen and it looks weird because you'd never hold a, a gun up to your eyes that much but um you know it's uh, that kind of immersion is I'm willing to I mean, for Christ's sake so you, you don't even have hands you don't even know where your arms position is um so uh, great flashlight. Did I talk about this yet? Did we get it? There's a flashlight now? There is. If we didn't, I'll just briefly mention it again. There's a flashlight now. I, d I did talk about it. I did. No, I did. Okay, so I remember talking about the hands. So apparently it runs out of batteries after a while. I haven't ever lived long enough to experience that, though, so. Oh. Oh, am I dead? so much easier when it's close up. Um, okay, now, uh, if you look at the flashlight, like if I, if I aim at this corner right here at the center of the flashlight and then you aim with the gun, it's like pretty close. The flashlight's really great for accuracy, especially at long distance. I mean, I put this in the middle of the flashlight beam and I'm like basically aiming at it. Like I sure I need a little bit of an adjustment, but you know, not much. Um, oh, God, there's 
too. Oof, okay. Oh. Oh, goodness. And those guys start coming real fast at you. Now, one thing I thought I read that they added, but that I, I haven't seen, is the ability to remove bullets. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Is that tape? Yeah, it's a tape. Please have your provided firearm operation manual ready for reference while listening to this tape. The 1911 A1 is an automatic loading pistol with an 8 round capacity magazine. The weapon can be discharged using the trigger marked LMV in your manual. All firearms are extremely dangerous. Engage the safety, see figure V, and holster it in the tilde fashion for your protection. Figure E shows the correct procedure for ejecting the magazine, also shown as the technique for dropping the magazine for a faster reload. Z shows how to handle various aspects of reloading. When the weapon is loaded, a round can be chambered by the slide marked R. The hammer marked F in the diagram can be cocked manually. Correct aiming can be executed in two ways. Image RMB shows the primary method, while image Q shows an alternate method that may work better for some people. Extra magazines can be stored in your harness. The pockets are shown labeled 1 through 10. Finally, Diagram G shows the correct procedure for retrieving items from the ground while armed. While this is the standard for operation, keep in mind that alternate schemes may fit some individuals better. In the trying times ahead, efficient gun use will be critical. Memorizing this information may save your life. Okay, so, uh, interesting fact, if you didn't pick up on it, um, the, you know, figure LMB is how to fire the gun, that kind of talking, that's the, uh... Oh, uh, that's the controls, actually. Uh, default controls, which is why at the end he was saying, Oh, this guy again, I wanna, I wanna at least get one of... This one holds a lot more bullets. To at least get one with the third weapon, which is a revolver. But uh, yeah. So unfortunately, like I really like this game. I actually play it a lot. Like when I don't have a lot of time to play anything, um, but I want to do something. Like this is great to just do like three lives of this or something. Um, well, I guess if you only had like ten minutes, that could be anywhere from three lives to like a million lives if you just you know, as bad as I am. Um, but. Uh, That looks really cool over there. I want to go over there. But uh, I couldn't make like a series out of it. I can hear. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Felt as if I needed a full auto, but of course now I'm significantly down on ammo. It's okay. I see. A receiver is said to be awake when he is able to get a completely clear signal, free of any subconscious corruption. In this state, he will be able to see realities in their true form and transcend normal human limitations. Although some of the receivers we choose to speak through are advanced in their ability, no human has yet achieved this awakened state. Humans exist in two worlds. In reality B, they live and work in their shadow bodies. In reality A, they are asleep, their minds unconcerned and roaming free. But humans have the unrealized potential to exist fully in both realities. It is this reason why humans are threatened. If even one of them achieved an awakened state, they would see beyond the horizon of all known understanding. Oh, that's terrible. I thought I was on a roll there. Oh man, okay. Are you starting off with a flashlight? Oh, darn it. Not the right gun. I think we are ready to fire now. Yes, we are.
Uh, but as I was saying, I cannot make a series about it unless I record everything that I do and then I should, like commentate over either the good stuff or like when I actually get all 11 tapes or something like that. But you know that would be like months of recording just to get one full episode, so it's not gonna happen. But. Um Another blue light on there now. I think I saw another too. Where though? Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> no. Oh, and uh, music's getting louder outside. People are doing lots of stuff. I could it actually see? Hold on. Alright, I'm gonna pick up this tape and you guys listen to it. I'll be right back. Some receivers believe the message but are unable to hear the source themselves. We have developed a mind tech called Clear Tape to aid in your receiving. Your subconscious mind has been eroded by dangerous, addictive media. To wean you from this addiction, we will trick your mind using its conditioned response to your advantage. By providing the correct external cues, Clear Tape provides a way to reduce the symptoms of media damage. You will have been issued a Clear Tape. Put the tape into your tape deck and press play. At first, it is normal to hear only background static. After several sessions, you may hear a voice. That's close. Alright, uh... Oh. Alright, uh, I shut the, uh, window. Oh, realized it was open, so... Should be slightly quieter, at least. Oh my god, how long is it gonna take to get... Like, I'm pretty sure it's probably a, a one in three chance. I mean, it's not any better. They all have their advantages. Okay, so the one with the best sight is the one that we had the previous life. The one that has been in the entire time. The one that uh, has, that has the full auto capacity is this guy that we are using right now. Oh, no, give me that back. Uh, there we go. Um, and let's just put that away there. Load that one in. Okay, good. Um, and then the revolver doesn't use magazines, so it's like a faster reload. Um, so I mean, it's it's a decent trade-off. So I I don't assume they would wait the chances of getting them any different, but they could. I don't know. It's uh, I don't know. I didn't I didn't make this game. Ah. Didn't need to do that. Cool. I actually have a lot of ammo this life though, because let's do, let's actually see. Oop, no, oh no! Give me that. Uh, all right, that's got a couple. That's got like one, so I actually don't have that many because you can't. That's got a bunch though. Whoops! Oh, never mind. I do have a bunch, especially because I got those now. Yeah. Um, you can't. Uh, consolidate them, uh, as I was saying before. Ooh. Wow, that was, that was really good at seeing me. Got it, okay. Uh, more. Whoops, sometimes press the buttons too fast before it com completes it, because I got like a pattern down. There's really only like three, maybe four that come into play a lot, so I just, uh, Done this in this uh, 
they removed this, but uh, I destroyed the motor. It's still working though. It's just not spinning, so. If this was aimed at a wall, I'd just leave it because I'm not going to get in front of anyways. But since it is aimed at the doorway, I'm just going to shoot the camera right there. Let's finish it off. This would be interesting. Uh, these things here, I, I heard in the video of one of the of the guy in charge of the art uh, with this game that it's based off of a real life thing called super furniture, I guess. Which I guess it was like a maybe a trending type of furniture that just kind of consumes the room. And yeah, something like that. I don't know. get one life with them. <clears throat> Finally, all right, here we go. So, here we are. Um, as you can see, the layout is a little different. Uh, all you gotta do is open and close. There's no magazine management at all. And uh, you open it, you put in, and you close it. Okay, and then when you, when they're all shot, or when you just wanna reload, you, um, you push this little thing. See that right there? And it, it kind of push and it pushes the um, them out, but it doesn't do it all at once. You know, like those three got stuck, so you got to do it again. And, you know, um, I can just pick these right back up because they're they're not used or whatever you call it. So um, yeah, you can spin it with the mouse wheel. Kind of kind of stupid. Doesn't do anything, but uh, you can do it. And, uh, oh, and you can mix. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, um. Yeah. So, that's it. And then it's just the same, but the sights on this thing is ridiculously small. Um, so, that's why, that's basically because of this gun is the reason why I have the view at the maximum cl closeness to my face. I didn't hear the other beep. There we go. There, there he is. It's up there. Please have your provided firearm operation manual ready for reference while listening to this tape. The 1911 A1 is an automatic loading pistol with an 8 round capacity magazine. The weapon can be discharged using the trigger marked LMB in your manual. All firearms are extremely dangerous. Engage the safety, see figure V, and holster it in the tilde fashion for your protection. Figure E shows the correct procedure for ejecting the magazine, also shown as the technique for dropping the magazine for a faster reload. Z shows how to handle various aspects of reloading. When the weapon is loaded, a round can be chambered by the slide marked R. A hammer marked F in the diagram can be cocked manually. Correct aiming can be executed in two ways. Image RMB shows the primary method, while image Q shows an alternate method that may work better for some people. Extra magazines can be stored in your harness. The pockets are shown labeled 1 through 10. Finally, diagram G shows the correct procedure for retrieving items from the ground while armed. While this is the standard for operation, keep in mind that alternate schemes may fit some individuals better. In the trying times ahead, efficient gun use will be critical. Memorizing this information may save your life. You use technology to control physical things. Similarly, there is mind tech, which is used to control the boundless luminescence. Mind tech can be used for good or evil. The threat has been using its mind tech as a weapon against you, and so far has caused widespread sickness and mental weakness. Now that you are in a helpless state, they ready a crippling blow. Mind kill. But they are aware that will not work on you. They have another potent weapon they will bring to bear against receivers, called the Dreaming. They cannot exist fully in this reality, but they have been watching and experimenting and have developed this new mind. 
The dreaming is a bridge from our world. Oh man, I still had another tape to line up and that was intense. I, would, I wanted you to listen, but I was mentally swearing my pants off. Um, or else that would have been a lot funnier for you. But uh, I'm thinking one more life as I wrap up here and then we'll be done because this has gone on for a while. I'm going to potentially, well, actually, I'm going to review the footage and see if I can, like, speed up some of it or something like that. But we'll see. Um, plus, the music is getting a little louder yet again. So but at the risk of accidentally including something that... Uh, is copyrighted. I will have to stop. After this life, of course. The perpetual cycle of just one more life. Oh, games, gamers, their bad name. Worth it, though, of course. Yeah. So, yeah, if you enjoyed. Oh. Uh, if you enjoyed, please show some support. I really appreciate it. And uh, check out bullfiregames.com for information about the game. Check out their game Overgrowth. It is an alpha. Whoa, am I stuck on something? Oh, that was weird. Couldn't move. Uh, the video game Overgrowth, which is alpha and also really good. I made a couple videos on that, but it's updated a lot since then, too. I will be making an update on that soon as well. But quite frankly, I'm starting to like this game a little bit better. Only because it's pretty unique. Please and have your uh, provided firearm operation manual ready for reference while listening to this tape. The 1911 A1 Sorry. is an automatic loading pistol with an 8 round custom magazine. The weapon yeah, can be used to start using a trigger marker. So, yeah, as I was saying, Overgrowth, right? And check out this game, of course, now. If you pre order their full big game, Overgrowth, you get this for free. Uh, and Overgrowth is great. Too, so, I recommend that. That's exactly what I did. Dropping the magazine for a faster than that. Shows how to handle okay, various away, aspects of but, uh, if you don't want to do this, if you don't like what you see in Overgrowth, R, the hammer marked F in the diagram of the car. Correct aiming can be executed in two ways. You can simply buy this game pretty cheap. I want to say it's like $7, $5, somewhere around there. Um, extra magazines can be stored in your harness. The pockets are shown like the 1 through 10. Finally, diagram G shows the and, correct procedure for retrieving items uh, while the armed. So there's that. While this is the and standard then, for operation, wow. keep in mind that some things make that some individuals better. In the trial um, times ahead, efficient fairness will be critical. Memorizing this information may save see. your life. Oh, please, 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 even if you just like the idea of this game, go on wolfire.com. Get the link to the Steam Greenlight. Vote this game up. It needs to be done. It's Steam would be great for it. Vote up on Overgrowth. They're doing the same thing there too. Uh, it, it's I mean, clearly unique. Clearly, it's action packed. And from what I saw, it wasn't getting the attention it deserved at the time. Of course, an update has happened since then. Plus, more official news and public, uh, you know, advertising from. The uh, developers, so of course, obviously, I'm gonna check back in after I record this and see where they're at. But in general, from, no, from what I saw, was not enough. So make it enough. Go there, vote it up. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.